Hey everyone, it's Insco here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an a cappella out of any song. There's been plenty of times where I've wanted to remix a song and I've searched around the internet trying to find an a cappella and I just can't find one. And it wasn't until about six months ago when I came across this software that I no longer have this issue. But just quickly, before I show you what software it is, I'm releasing a new song this Friday and you can still pre-save it with the link in the description. It's called Say My Name. It's one of my favorite songs and I really can't wait to release it. Like I said in last week's video, a pre-save really helps out on Spotify and gives me more of a chance to get on Spotify playlists. So if you do have like 30 seconds and you want to go pre-save a song, I would really, really appreciate that. But now that's out of the way, let's show you what the software is. So this right here is called Splitter. It's one of those softwares that isn't made by like a big company or something like that. I'm pretty sure it's just made by one or two developers. But I have never seen a software do this much of a good job when it comes to taking a song apart. So there's a link in the description where you can go and download it. It will take you to this website right here, which looks a little bit confusing. What you have to do is just hit this button here that says download installer. Then that will take you to this Google Drive link. And then all you have to do is download it, run the installer, and that's it. It's not dodgy in any way. It's completely free. You don't have to crack it. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's safe. I've had no issue. I have an antivirus. I've run loads of antivirus tests since, and it's been fine. It's never done anything to the software. Just to run through a few things, you can actually separate the song into multiple different parts. So when you put your song into it, it will split it into two different audio files, one that's just the vocal and one that's just the instrumental. Then if you click four parts, it will do the vocal, a bass, drums, and then other sounds. So that'll be four different audio files. And then if we hit five, it'll be vocal, bass, drums, piano, and other. So that'll be five audio files. So you can really just deconstruct a song with this software if you wanted to. Make sure you have full bandwidth, 16 kilohertz, high quality ticked, because that way you get the highest quality sound. Maximum song length is automatically set to 600 seconds. I don't think I know any songs that I listen to that are over 600 seconds, so that's okay for me. But if you have songs that are like 10 minutes long or whatever, and you want the acapella for that, you may want to change that. Then where it says save to, you can create a folder to save all the stuff to, or you can just leave it as default. And this right here is where you put your song into. So you can either drag it into the space or click this button here. So I've just put this song by Drulu called Open Blinds. And now what it's going to do is it's going to convert that into a vocal and an instrumental. It takes like 30 seconds at most it doesn't really take that long i'm still waiting and it's done just like that there we go so now in my splitter folder that i made there's a drulu open blinds folder if i click that we have the instrumental and the vocals if i drag both of these into my door we can see that this is the instrumental this is the vocals let's see what they sound like You can tell that it's like got some sort of filter on it, but obviously it's taken something completely out of it and tried to fill in the gap. So it's going to be a bit imperfect, but the vocal tends to be more high quality than the instrumental, which is the reason that I use it for making acapellas. My alarm starts ringing, I promised myself to wake up, start living. Like that's fairly clean. I have got to say though, the cleanness of the vocal depends on a lot of things. So first of all, the amount of reverb that's on the vocal in the original song may mess up the quality of the acapella just because the software is trying to record that acapella and trying to record that reverb and it gets a little bit messy sometimes that's where you kind of get that weird sort of underwater effect drums and background instruments as well can sometimes bleed through into your acapella file the only way you're going to get 110 percent perfect acapella with nothing bleeding into it is if you've recorded the acapella or downloaded it from like some remix contest or something or if you find an acoustic version of that song and use that instead because acoustic versions of songs tend to have less instruments in it, so it means that the AI has less stuff to do. So if you're trying to get the best possible acapellas of songs, use this software and try and find an acoustic version. You don't necessarily need an acoustic version, it just might make it a little bit cleaner. I'm just going to convert one more song as another demonstration. So I've gone with Eden, Love, Death and Distraction. I have no idea how this is going to come out. But now in my splitter folder, there's another folder. So now we have this. Let's hear what the acapella sounds like for that. How do I all I want just falls away I don't know how to keep us in time See, that's not bad at all. You can hear that it's got like a bit of a filter on it. You can hear some of the guitar bleeding through. But at the end of the day, this is still higher quality than some of those acapellas I tried to find on YouTube. And you also have to take into consideration that if you're remixing a song, you're going to be filling up the space and the vocal will just kind of sit in that space and you won't hear as much of like the filtering effect on the vocal. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Quick and easy one this week. I just wanted to showcase the software. If you did enjoy this video, remember to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to pre-save my song 
that's coming out this Friday. Next week's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made the song that's releasing on Friday. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because I upload new music content every single Monday at 7pm GMT. But my name is Insco, hopefully I'll see you for the next video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week.